Uh, yeah, the nose, the, the, <laughs> sorry, I, I'm just like talking a sentence in the middle of the recording. What's up, YouTube? Thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, someone's asking if I got my $2 from Cole back. I just on this sub, just, or rather just on this stream today. Apparently, got, I've gotten my, my money back from Cole a few times now on this stream. What's up, YouTube? We're going to play some more Adventures of Doggo Link HD Pingus and Pongus. Real quick, I was just going to open up this uh, thing that I got. Uh, I was just excited about it. It's not actually a, uh, it's not actually fan mail, although I do have some fan mail I should be opening, but instead I'm opening my own thing because I'm, I'm just an asshole like that. <laughs> All right, so I just wanted to, I, I kind of just wanted to show this off, I guess, to be honest. Uh, re I, I mean, I'm assuming this is what I think it is. Rela it's, it's related to my last video that I did. Uh, the, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube late, um, that video would be uh, the sellout games. I ended up changing the name of the video like overnight. Uh, but yeah, here it is. I ended. I went on eBay and found this. Uh, one of the games that I was talking about. It's actually a very rare game, all things considered. But really wasn't all that expensive considering because no one knows about it, I guess. So there's not like a high demand. But here it is. I got... Let's enjoy kitchen. Let, let's enjoy cooking with Matoko Chan No Wonder Kitchen. Look at it. It's so cool. Ah, oh, I love Japanese boxes. I, I love it. And then you got the Ajinomoto mayonnaise on, on, the, on the back. I was very surprised with how cheap this was, considering how few of these exist, especially in box. Very, very cool. I really just wanted to show this off, to be honest. I love Japanese boxes. This is Super Famicom. Um, what does it say? Wonder Kitchen? Some more text there and then yeah you got the ajinomoto mayonnaise on the back and you can see the ajinomoto logo oh that's so cool that's so cool i like i like to have like random um keepsakes or i don't know just like visual representations of like things i've done in videos and i kind of scatter them throughout my room yeah i mean obviously i got like obvious stuff like arthur and things like that but then i have some more like things that are just kind of hidden around so when i do eventually do my office tour like i've promised for a long time that i was gonna do whenever i finally do that I'll definitely uh, point those out. Uh, there's just a few things. There's a few things in my office I want to change before I do the video, and I just haven't gotten around to doing them yet. I want to change this amiibo wall, probably. I want to change the background, the actual background that I film uh, in front of my videos. I want to change that as well. And I need to do some really bad, really badly need to do some cord management under my desk as well. But anyway, let's get into some Zelda Twilight Princess. Uh,. I mean, why not? That is that is what we're doing. So, let's. I'm gonna open the game up here. I, I've already got it open. So let me let me pop out my chat again and move it around here. There we are. Very excited because we are gonna be moving towards uh, the Arbiter's Grounds. I doubt we'll actually do the Arbiter's Grounds today. Um, I mean, maybe. I it's already a little bit late. So I kind of doubt that we'll we'll go all the way through the Arbiter's Grounds, but we uh, we will be getting close. <clears throat> we'll probably be getting all the way to the dungeon. At least that's my plan. So let's maximize this here. Uh, it should maximize here shortly. Uh, just hopefully, <laughs> freaking game capture. All right, well, I'm just going to assume that it's going to fix itself here in a second. Uh, and if it doesn't, I'll fix it. But anyway. Ooh, Twilight Princess HD. HD doggo time. Yeah, spinny top hype. We got the spinny top coming here before too long. Shut up, thanks for the 100 bits. What brand of mayo did you use? I use QP because... Uh, well, i having a hard time uh, reading the rest of that message. Because I can't see it. There we go. Uh, I don't know why this isn't maximizing itself. I'll restart the program if I have to. There there it goes. Okay, that sh it, it should fix itself here in a second. Uh, I used QP because that's all all the market had. QP was actually the exact brand that I used. It's the closest thing to like Japanese mayonnaise. So yeah, I used that. I used QP mayo as well. Uh, it's, like a more, it's like a more authentic uh, Japanese mayo. Uh, it's the closest thing to the Ajinomoto that I could find. Uh, Demigon, thanks for the 100 bits! Speaking of the Mayo game, Manic did a great translation of the weird gnome story. Oh, 
I think she posted it on Discord, and you should check it out. I definitely will. I'm gonna check that out, Demi. I, I yeah. I, I actually now that you mentioned, it, I remember uh, her saying that saying that she was gonna do that. So yeah, I, I'm actually very curious. I thought about like getting someone to translate it for me, but then I was like, I think I'm just gonna do my own version and like just pretend like I know what he's saying. So I ended up doing that instead. Oh yeah, I forgot. We have to help Midna. Uh, so we gotta do that first. I completely forgot that that's what we were doing next. So we got this emotional bond with Midna going now. I'd love to stay, but I have a job interview tomorrow, and I gotta get some sleep. I feel you there, Tiniest. Have a good rest. Hope you, uh, hope you do well at your job interview tomorrow. Good luck. Uh, what would be the best way to get there? I guess this way. <clears throat> gonna do the Cave of Shadows as well, people. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be doing all those, like, caves and stuff. There's a few different, like, caves. Uh, I'm not sure when we're gonna do them for sure, but we are gonna do some of the we're gonna do some of the more cool things I don't think we're gonna completely 100% the game like I kind of doubt we're gonna get all the pose Posols maybe though maybe But uh, some of the cool stuff we're definitely gonna do I want to get all the golden bugs and 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 stuff like that we'll, we'll, we'll see what what we end up what we end up completing but like some of the cave like challenge caves and stuff I do plan on doing those I just I feel like at the bare minimum, we have to be able to teleport first. Because um, there's like some postals in some of those caves and stuff, and we might as well get them while we're there. I love this track. Midna's Lament is the best one in the game for tone setting. Ah, for sure, Bearded, Bearded Don. I agree. It's, it's it's a very, very good song. This game, ha I feel like this this game's music is slightly underrated almost. I just hate the rain. I can't get comfortable whether I sit or sit. I thought he had something important to say because he ran up to me. Maybe my sixth sense is trying to tell me something. Ah, fear me. Which do you prefer, peeps, Majora's Mask or Majora's Mask 3D? Majora's Mask 3D. We did a stream. Uh, we streamed all the way through Majora's Mask 3D. Oh wait, no, this is where we're going this way, right? Um, there's definitely things that I like about it. Um, like being able to change the camera around for one thing is really great. Um, all right, is this the way we get in? I don't guess it is. Uh, yeah, I don't think we go this way. And I don't have Midnight to give me advice. I think we're just supposed to go... I want to say we're supposed to go to the bar, actually. Not positive. But yeah, I prefer the original game. I prefer the original game. To uh, HD. Or the, the 3DS one. Do I have the Zelda Amiibo? I, yeah, I have, I have the Zelda Amiibo. We've talked about using it, but I don't think I'm going to. Because, I mean, if I was going to do it, we would have done it at the beginning, probably. And I haven't done it yet, so. I feel like it would be kind of weird to do it, like, halfway through. But maybe if we have, maybe when we do the caves, maybe when we do, like, the challenge caves and stuff, that could be fun to use, use the, uh, the, uh, Amiibo to make it more, to make it harder. This is the wrong place. Uh, I'm, I'm still mixed up with everything being flipped or whatever. We ever bring back the G files? Um, I don't. I I've never had any like. Look at this meat, like just freaking pieces of leg sitting around here. I don't think I've ever. Uh, I don't think I've ever seriously considered doing it. Uh, doing it again. Um, I had I had various different reasons for for stopping the the G files and. I don't know if I've really had any particular reason to to uh, go back to it yet. Okay, so we can't go in there as uh, Wolf Link yet. I know at some point we go through there. Oh no. Okay, yeah, we're that we were supposed to do that. Yeah, this because this is what I was thinking. We're supposed to be like walk like tightrope walking and stuff above everything. But we got this cat. This isn't this isn't Gangle. This is not the best cat in the game. That's Gangle, I think his name is. This is the second best cat in the game. I'm pretty sure there's a way to use the amiibo without taking them out of the box. I've heard uh, that of like some tricks you can do, but I have most of my Zelda amiibos open actually. I forget the name of this cat. Mm, yes, I thought I thought so. I could just tell you know. I'm Luis. Do you remember meeting me in the shop before? Though I don't think we were properly introduced. In, a, in any case, I must tell you, I'm a bit puzzled as to why you look like that. Really, dear, you can't blame the humans for tossing you out the way you look. Did you do a throwback thing and go back to some of your old series? 
Maybe, maybe. I, I kind of did a throwback a little bit with like the 100 or 50 ways to die in Breath of the Wild thing. That was very similar to uh, to uh, to kill an avatar. Princess Zelda. Yeah, we need to see Zelda. The whole thing about the creepiness of Mario's possession in Mario Odyssey felt like a mini G Files episode. I know, I know it. I know you got it in you, undead. I definitely made some jokes about that in the video for sure. That was probably the most fun I had was like joking around about the about Mario freaking taking over people's minds or whatever. Well, I suppose that's all that's left to do is make sure that the humans don't notice you. Okay, so I'll jump up. Midna can't help us now because she's all sickly. The format wasn't similar. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. But the actual con content was pretty much the same. I mean, I did it. I did it on one game as oops. I did it on one game as opposed to like the three game format, like I did with the original To Kill an Avatar. I think To Kill. I do. I do. I often, if I'm talking about a subject of specific games, Thank I do you. oftentimes yeah. stick to three because I want to. I want to cover them substant. Like sub like I want to cover them pretty like thoroughly, but I don't want to. Uh. uh I don't want the video to be too, like, crazy long. So I usually do stick to three. Uh, but I think To Kill an Avatar was uh, the first one where I did that format, actually. I sometimes do more than three. Or sometimes, I, I even do two sometimes. I think there was one, like, Goodwill Games, I only did two. And when I only did two, people got upset. They're like, you only did two games. You always do... Th ah! Ah, oh, great. Yeah, Midna's sick because she ate the mayo thing you made. Yeah, that's what it was. If you weren't here on the last stream, that's definitely what happened. <laughs> Rich R in a seven. Thanks for the tier one sub. Appreciate you. Welcome, welcome. Do do you find Midna a little annoying? I remember Fee butting in so much. I never found the partners to be too annoying. The only partner I ever like disliked in any way was uh was Tattle because she's so mean to you at the beginning. But it's mostly just like a joke. I don't like actually dislike Tattle. I just kind of like, I just kind of like poking fun at the fact that she was a jerk to you. Trying to move these pots about knocking them over. But I think probably should just walk around them, honestly. Minya, could you stop breathing so loud? They're going to hear you. Wait, what was loud? Sorry, did I yell? I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, I forgot that this is how we find Giovanni or Giovanni or whatever his freaking name is. I forgot that you have to find him. Oh, uh, sense. Okay, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm mixed up with the senses because we haven't done it much since we switched to HD. This room is always so cool. All the freaking gold and the treasure chest. It looks even better in HD. Of course, you can tell the textures are flat, but other than that. You got the pose soul. Collect one from each pose you defeat. See how many you have on the collection screen. Midna, stop dying. Gosh. Seriously, Midna. What the heck? Uh, we'll talk to this guy now. Why not? Oh, thanks for beating the ghost. Can I call you doggy? I'm Giovanni. I become I became consumed by greed long ago and sold my soul to a dark creature that did this to me. I can't move. I can't go see my girlfriend. My pet cat, Gangle. I was just talking about Gangle. The best cat is frozen on my head. I don't think I could be more miserable. We have to save Gengle. We at least have to save Gengle. I have to ask a favor of you, doggy. Can you find and defeat the 20 ghosts that lurk in the dark for me? I think if you can free the pieces of my soul from the ghosts that hold them, I'll be free. How many po post souls do you have to find to save Gengle? I forget. Hopefully it's not all of them. Fun Steve! Welcome back for seven months. Hey, peeps, how you doing? Hope you're having a good day today. I am I'm doing fairly well today, Funsy. Thank you so much. You need all 20? Dang. Well, maybe we'll have to save Gengal. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Because Gengal's just such a cool... He's such a cool character. I think if you can free the pieces of my soul from the ghosts that hold them, I'll be free. Oh, but it's raining out now, so I don't think you can go outside directly. I'll open the door to you to the underground waterway for you. I never understood how he does this. He's like frozen as a, in a, as a gold statue, but for some reason he can open this treasure chest. Once the rain stops, you can come back in here by digging around the front wall where the cats gather. Understand, doggy? Don't call me doggy, but okay, yeah. I am a good boy, though. I am a good doggo, though. There's 60 total in the game, not 20? Wait, I thought I just read 20. Okay, well, we'll get 20 at the bare minimum. All right, 
so you get some freaking rats in here. I don't want to kill them. They're just minding their own business. They're just minding their own business. I killed one of them, though. Because <laughs> I wasn't thinking about it. You need 20 for Gangle's freedom. We'll have to free Gangle then. I swear it. Probably. I swear we will probably kill Gang or kill Gangle. <laughs> I swear we will probably save Gangle. I need a fire. I need a fire. Get out of my face. Oh, well. Oh, there he There Got it. Fuck. Oh, yeah. You want some fire? Take this fire. Take it. That didn't work at all. Okay. <laughs> Definitely did not work. Let's just ignore this one. Let's just ignore this guy. Here, oh, it, it ran out! Oh, jeez. Never do anything right. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. There we go. There we go. All right. I don't think I need this anymore. Go away. Is there anything over here we're missing? Probably not. I've, if there's anything over here, I've never gotten it. Just because I haven't gotten it, though. I did not mean to pick that up. Just because I haven't gotten it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Wait, there's, there's like, torches I could light in here. Let's see. I don't remember if this does anything, but was, I see at least one torch here. We might have to light these. I'm not sure. Is it going to run out? Ugh. No! Freaking bats. I'm just going to ignore the bats. Just ignoring them. Just, just, just ignoring them. They don't exist. If they're, if I don't pay attention to them, they can't hurt me. Uh, are we missing something here? Oh, no. I don't think we're, I don't guess we have to light the torches. Uh, what we need to do is light this, though. So up we go. Wait, 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 why can't I climb? Oh, give me a break. Okay, I'm killing the bats. Go away. The keys, excuse me. Leave me alone. Just trying to get this. Can can you tell me what kind of controller you're using? I'm trying to make a comic about the capture crashes from last stream. I'm just using the Wii, the Wii U gamepad. I'm excited to see that, though. I don't, I doubt we need the fire anymore because we, unless there's another fire source for us to use because we don't have any, uh, way of going back to where we came from. There's freaking skulls in here. Where do these come from? There's a lot of people dying down here, apparently. <clears throat> in Zelda, in the Zelda universe, there's always skulls in the sewers. Who's going down here and dying all the time? And they're, they're like dying in like an order. They're like three people just dying right next to each other. It's kind of creepy. I had a band concert tonight and missed the anxiety chat. Uh, at the bare minimum, you can see it. Uh, you should be able to watch it on the Twitch uh, VOD. Uh, I don't know for sure if I'm going to upload it to YouTube, but I haven't, de I haven't decided. Sorry, I'm sorry about that. Miss. I haven't decided if I'm going to upload it to YouTube or not. Uh, but at the bare minimum, you should you you should be able to watch it <clears throat> um, on Twitch on the video section. All right, I'm just gonna kill you. I'm just gonna kill you. You mess with me, you die. Adventure. You hear that, chat? Yeah. Stop it! Go away! How have I taken so much damage? Hi, Roll Holly, gifted a sub to Edgy the Hedgy. Thank you so much, Hi, Roll Holly, and welcome, Edgy, for two the second month. All right, let's let's not fall this time. Everyone getting into groups of three for the sewer death field trip. <laughs> They're just all really good friends. They wanted they wanted to make some art, so it's either that or someone placed the skulls there. And why would someone do that? I'm just going to kill you. Also, why are there so many dead things down here? That is a good point. That is a good point. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. It's me and people like me causing these that, these things to happen. All right, please. Okay, he doesn't have a bow. I was gonna say this guy shoots me off. I'm gonna lose it. I'm just gonna leave him. I'm just gonna leave him. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm leaving you. You, you you're free to continue your miserable existence down here. All right, what am I supposed to do with this freaking guy? Just he's just gonna let me. He's just gonna let me pass. Never mind. He's he's actually really chill. 
That guy's actually really... This guy's not, though. This guy's not chill. Uh, I think we're good. This is where we need to be. Have you ever seen Star vs. the Forces of Evil? I've, I've watched, like, one episode of it. Just out of curiosity, because I saw people talking about it. But I didn't watch any anything past that. I didn't watch it enough to, like, make a... Make a to, like, grow it, like, get any attachment to it or anything. I just watched the first episode. It was good. I, I, yeah, I mean, I, I'd have to see more before I, like, decided what I really thought about it. But I, it lo it's, I like the animation and, and everything. It, it, it seems fun. I definitely heard a lot of good things about it, for sure. Uh, this is the right way, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get away, you birdie. Dargo needs to be arrested. Well, he, he can, they can arrest him. They can arrest me once I save the world or whatever. So how am I gonna? Oh, oh! I forgot. Are you serious? I forgot about this, guys. What is about to happen? I assure you, would not work. So please don't try that. Please never try that at home. I don't know under what situation you would try that. Never try that unless your life depends on it. You have no other option, and even then, probably don't. Because I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think wind would hold even this doggy weight. I don't think wind would even hold the dog's weight like that. I don't think so. It'd have to be the strongest wind of all time, and in which case it'd be so strong that you wouldn't be able to walk through it. Shut up, Sprinkle Sakes, for the 100 bits! Please, yes, watch it more. I'll have to give it, I'll have to watch it some more. I mean, I keep seeing people talking about it. And I like cartoons. I like cartoons. Even I don't know, like, what the age demographic for that show is, but even if it's, even if it is for kids, I also like kids' cartoons. Because, I, I mean, I've always wanted to make, like, one of my, like, unrealistic goals in life is to make a kid's, like, a like a, make a cartoon. I don't necessarily care if it's for kids or not, but just make a cartoon or a kid's show of some description. It's magic wind. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot, Beeg. Beeg Sour... Okay, how do you pronounce this name? Beeg... Beeg... Beeg Sour Price. Or Beeg... Soup rice. That's probably it. Big soup rice. I, I hope I got that right. Please tell me. How do... I love how we're like having a serious... Like, Mid is like dying. And I'm just sitting here trying to figure out how to pronounce... Big... Big soup rice. <laughs> See you later, Cube. Thanks for hanging out with us. Please, please tell me. How do we break the curse on this one? This is the one you need him to save your world. That's why, Princess, please, you must help Pingus. Free, please, Zelda. You have to help. Pingus! That took a little longer than I meant for it to, but you have to help. Pingus! You have to help him. What binds him is a different magic than what transformed him when he first passed the Curtain of Twilight. It is an evil power. Our world is one of balance. Just as there is light to drive away darkness, so too is there benevolence to banish evil. Just just heal me already! Quick! I'm tired of being a doggy against my will. I want to be a doggy when I want. I don't want to be a doggy against my will. Head for the sacred grove that lies deep within the lands guarded by the spirit Theron. There you will find the blade of evil's bane. Oh, oh yeah, we're getting the freaking Master Sword. I forgot. That was crafted by the wisdom of the ancient sages, the Master Sword. The Master Sword is a sacred blade that evil can never touch. Evil cloaks you like a dark veil, and that blade is the only thing that can cleave it. I just, I just remembered. I don't know why I just remembered this, but I, I, I was frustrated because today, as of the, what day is this? Wednesday. I was trying. I, I uploaded and made the thumbnail for the last archive and everything, and uploaded it. And just YouTube, it's just been stuck on ninety-five percent processing for like, for like. I mean, since I uploaded it last night, I think it's just broken. It happens sometimes. I'm going to have to re-upload it. So sorry anyone who was waiting for that. I apologize. Like you, I have been granted special powers by the goddess. Ooh. Did the goddess give me these these cool earrings, too? Fine. Pingus, you can you can get to the woods on your own, right? No, Midna. Where's it? We're going to save you. Princess, I have one last request. Can you tell him? Where to find the Mirror of Twilight? <gasps> the music stopped. This is serious. 
Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I would. Hardcore will happen again for sure. That we were working on a season, we kind of delayed it a bit, but uh, there will be more hardcore. Uh, uh, and, and to anyone who has uh, been waiting for that, I do I do apologize, and I do also apologize on my my kind of silence on that topic a little bit. Despite your mortal injuries, you act in our stead. These dark times are the result of our deeds, yet it is you who have reaped the penalty. Yeah, Zelda, come on. Oh, oh I didn't see that. All I said, I didn't mean, I hit R, ZR, which apparently makes the dialogue go by. <gasps> Midna! She's saving her! <gasps> oh, well, she doesn't seem happy about it. Pingus, please stop her! Ah! <laughs> that's that's the sound she was making. Ah! Zelda's dead. Let's try that again. Zelda's dead. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> Made it going super saiyan. We go back, Pingus. Back to Farron Woods. Farron Woods, I guess, would probably be how I would pronounce it. Not Farron. Farron. Why does she just disappear and then get <laughs> redacted? <laughs> Zelda, I've taken all that you had to give, though I did not want it. Rip, Zelda. Pour one out for our girl. Yeah, Zelda Gaming Pro. Rip Zelda in the chat, everybody. Oh, yeah, the, the castle's about to get barriered out, off now. Yeah, there it is. <gasps> Luckily, we don't need to go there, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> ah, the, the, the Fs for Zelda is real. The rips are real. Uh, thank you, thank you to uh, whoever got to that for me. I was gonna get, I was gonna grab that band there. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, sorry, the thing popped up there for a second. I, I it, it's fixed now. Uh, I think my my chat is slightly delayed. I think Jeff was telling me there was a way to make it basically instant. It would be nice to do that. I, I have to look into how to do that. I also want to fix some of my audio problems a little bit. Did you hear about the follow-up to Pokemon Go Pokemon Sleep? That was, uh, yeah, I, I saw some of it, but uh, I wasn't feeling so great yesterday, so I wasn't paying that much attention. Um, all right, we're, okay, we got to go to Farron Woods. We can teleport now, though, right? So let's just do that. Oh, no, sorry, wrong button. Teleport. Can we teleport? Uh, but yeah, I haven't. I don't really know what it's about, though. I, I haven't really looked at it. Zelgan, what's up, dude? With the three gifted subs. Thank yeah. you so much. What's up, man? I saw your. Uh, I, I'm glad that your root, your root beer milk tasted all right. <laughs> Appreciate the subs to Tim Titus, X Bianca Rosa, and Carbon Spire. Thanks so much, Zelgan. <clears throat> we need to warp. Uh, I think it's just, uh, no, that's Oranon Spring. Is there, like, a closer? Yeah, Farron Woods. Uh, do we need to go to North Fair? I think we need to go here. Yeah. Dude, other people have root beer milk? Yeah, I, was, I, was, I saw it on Twitter. Uh, uh, Zelgin was, was, like, posting about it. And, uh, can't say it looked, it looked good to me, but apparently it tastes kind of like a root beer float. That was the, that was the, that was what I was told. All right, have you forgiven me for stealing from you yet? Oh, I guess I'm a per I'm not a person right now, so he doesn't know who I am. I I want to say yeah, this is the way to go. Yeah, monkey. Yeah, this is where. Okay, yeah. I was trying to remember when we were first playing through. What is this ledge to jump from? I remember you're supposed to jump up there at some point, but I couldn't really remember why. It's because we gotta go get the master sword. These guys are kind of creepy, but I don't remember. Yeah, they're just really easy to kill. Actually, they're freaky, but that's it. You just kill them in one 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 spell swoop. 
Did, did you save me? Th thank you. Listen, since you're so nice, let me tell you something. There's a really pretty wooded area on the other side of this cliff. I climbed over there, but when I tried to get deeper into the woods, those guys attacked me. <laughs> let me give you this great tip. There's this really cool place over there you can go. There's people there that will attack and try to kill you, but it's really pretty. You should check it out. What's in those woods anyway? I guess she could. I guess she could tell that it was no. It was no challenge for me. It was no challenge for the great Doggo Link HD. So there's another section of the forest beyond this cliff. All right, Pingus, let's go. How very convenient for us. Uh, okay, here we go. I gotta stand in the middle for some reason. Whee! Oh, this is a this is a tough jump. I I mean Midna, this is kind of I really trust in you here. All right, okay, all right, okay, we're all right, we're all right, okay. Have fun getting the sword, peeps. Thanks, Jade Stone. Sorry, uh, yeah, we're a little later. I, I usually try to uh, do my weekday streams a little later than my weekend streams, but I don't know. It might actually be better. I might actually be better off uh, doing them closer like a little bit earlier a little bit like maybe a couple hours earlier because even now it's like even on my end it's like seven it's like 8 p.m now but i i, I did i was having <laughs> i was sitting around like i said before for like an hour trying to decide if i was gonna do if i was gonna have our little anxiety chat or if i was gonna chicken out so we I, it took me a little longer okay i got this Well, I was close. Let's try that again. There we go. For some reason, I always have I always have a little bit more trouble with that one. I miss I miss doing this stuff too, though. I mean, again, I'm gonna give me wrong. Breath of the Wild's great, but I I miss like some of these key Zelda things that it's like that these like traditions, you know? Like there's no there's not there's no like ocarina or howling or. Anything like that. And I mean, some people are probably happy about that because they would rather see something different. But you guys know me. I'm a, I, 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 I mean, there's a reason. I, I want to start over. There's, I like Zelda for a lot of different reasons. So whenever it changes... Okay, let's get this right. Whenever it changes too much, it, it's a little bit upsetting to me. Yeah, I was going to say, that was close enough. Yeah, you got to give me that one. Red Hat 62, thanks for the 100 bits. Thanks for being a source of positivity and providing an honest, chill environment. Thank you so much, Red Hat. Appreciate that. And thanks for hanging out in the stream. Thank you for coming to hang out with us. By the way, Austin, don't know if you saw my message earlier, but you were still set to just chatting. Oh, am I? I maybe I didn't hit save or update. Maybe I forgot to do that. Okay. Th thanks, Ega. I, I, uh, it, it sh if, if, if it wasn't fixed before, it should be now. Uh, I have to pop my, uh, my uh, things up again, though. Here we go. Wait, I, I minimized my chat. Where'd you go, chat? Come back. There we go. It's a freaking bug. All right, so we should be able to learn another uh, sword move soon. I'm a lurk. Bye, peeps and friendos. See you later, Ru Rumi. Uh, no sweat uh, for lurking. No, I, I would never. I, I'll. That's one thing you'll never hear me do is judge someone. For lurking, I lurk all the time too, so I feel you. That you're completely obligated to do that. Thanks for hanging out and 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 uh, even for lurking, I appreciate anyone who's hanging out in the stream. What up, yo peeps? What up, uh, crispy memes? Uh, not too much. We just, we had a, we had a we had a cool chat earlier uh, for about an hour and a half or so, and now we're playing some Zelda Breath to get the Master Sword, working our way up to getting uh, the getting to the um, best dungeon in all of Zelda. Uh, the Arbiter's Grounds. But first, we gotta get the Master Sword. Um, wait, what am I? I was not paying attention. Oh, what the heck? Rupees fall out of that tree, apparently. That's interesting to know. Also, this is where we're going. Okay. Uh, yeah, it, actually, it gave it to me. It gave it to me. Nice. Nice. The Lost Woods. Yep, yep, yep. What's lurking? Uh, Lord Lord Sargoth. Uh, lurking is, is basically when you're in a stream, in stream and you're not chatting or, or anything. That's basically what it is. You're just kind of like hanging out and like 
being antisocial, I guess. Shadow Bear, thanks for the two month resub. Thank you so much, Shadow Bear. Appreciate you. It's Skull Kid or something. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for answering that. Uh, shut up. There is a strong chance that I wouldn't have seen that, but I did, luckily. Lurk a lot, partially bees. No sweat, no sweat. Like I said, I lurk sometimes. I, 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 this is, I don't, this is like, this is a very, like, I mean, obviously not everybody would have this problem, but so, sometimes I lurk in people's streams because I don't want to draw attention to myself. Um, like, I don't want to distract from what's happening in the stream. Uh, it's, it, 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 usually, I think most people don't, don't mind, like, if, especially if you're friends and you kind of show up in the stream, but usually, if, usually, if I'm gonna, like, draw attention to myself in, in any way, I usually at least, like, donate or, like, gift subs or something like that, so at the bare minimum, if I am, like, unintentionally taking some attention away, at the bare, at the bare minimum, I'm at least gifting some subs to my friends, so they probably, they probably won't be that upset about it, <laughs> but I do, I do get a little paranoid about that, like, I don't want to just, like, chat sometimes, because... I don't want to, I don't, you know, I just don't, I, I don't want, I, if someone else is streaming, I want it to be about them, you know? But it is fun to kind of go and hang out in your friend's streams too, though. And also, I think, I certainly don't care about that at all. I love it when my friends chat and stream, but I know, I know it. some people might care about it. Some people might, I don't know. It's just like, there's weird social dynamics and stuff with like streaming, which is like, I, I, it took me a long time to even understand like the basics of, of Twitch. I haven't completely gotten the, um... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm complete. I don't know all the Twitch etiquette sometimes. Like some people, some people just host slash host people instead of of slash. Uh, I need to pay attention to this because this guy is. I, I, this guy is uh, opening up different areas in here, and I'm gonna get lost if I don't pay close attention. Uh, I think he opened up something here. Yeah, here we go. Uh, I actually, I actually remember this. These last woods fairly well, but yeah, I usually raid instead of host. But I've heard some people don't like to be raided. It's just like stressful if you get a big raid, I guess. Um, I tend to lean towards not caring about most things, so I just sometimes assume other people don't care about stuff. But that's not always the case. I try to be thoughtful, you know. Basics of Twitch, like how you should drop X split K. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Also, oh, wait, here we go. Is this where I came? Oh, wait, where's my mini map? Give me the mini map. Uh, or do I not have, I guess I don't have a map of the Lost Woods. So I don't have a mini map. Uh, I think, yeah, this is where we came from. So we go through here and then the opening here. And then we'll come back to this place. Follow his lantern light. Uh, I don't see any lantern light, but I can definitely hear him playing his trumpets. I'm, I'm more lost in this Lost Woods than the Lost Woods in Ocarina of Time. Yeah, I mean, in, in Ocarina of Time, in like Majora's Mask, the Lost Woods are, are you know, you... There's there's ways that you can tell for sure which way you're going. And they kind of set you back if you if you just get it wrong. This one, it definitely just like throws you in and is like, figure it out. So you don't have to, you don't have to get reset, but you do have to like actually figure out where you're going on your own. These guys freak, keep freaking coming. Am I going in reverse? Did I just come back where I came from? I think I might have. I, I'm lost. Okay, I, I take it back what I said before. I'm lost. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm back where I started. Here I was like all confident that I had this in the bag, but apparently not. These guys literally are just annoying. They're not like, they're not much of a threat, but they're pretty annoying. I don't think there's anything up there. You can kill you can if you get them in the right angle, you can get them all in one go though. Yeah, they are really fast, Usa, definitely. Oh, there he is. How do I get up there? Probably through here, I guess. Yeah, this is it. Leave me alone, I'm in the water, it's no fair. There we go. I think what's what's not fair is that I can just kill them all in one hit. That's probably even less fair. It's the Lost Woods, a mini-map would make it woods. Exa yeah, you're, you're not wrong about that, ML, ML Blue. That definitely makes sense. Welcome to woods. 
Well, what's your favorite part of Zelda? Oh, you oh you like the Arbiter's Grounds? I like I like woods. I like woods. Woods are my favorite part. All right, so um, I think this way. This means the only way. Die! Ugh! Dodged it. Um, let's see. Keep nothing up there. So I think we're kind of going back where we came from a little bit. To uh. That's where we came from? Oh no, this is new. This is new. Okay. I can hear him. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's just this way. I'm gonna get you. I'm hunting him down. You like woods? Cool. I'm a fan of temple. I also really dig desert. <laughs> yeah, desert's really cool too. Desert is awesome. Can't match. T it can't match. It can't match temple, but desert is really cool. Adventure. Go five. Yay. Thanks for the five gifted subs. Appreciate that. Five gifted subs to the community. The Legend of Gret. Quack Attack Bait. Big Jacks 101. Adventure. Zalok. Yeah. And Kyo Explosion. Thanks so much, K5, and welcome to the adventure, you guys. Appreciate that. Honestly, as a kid, when I played this game when it first came out, Arbiter's Grounds yeah. actually creeped me out. Yeah, I can see that, Zelda. It, it's, uh, it's, it's, I mean, we're, we're gonna get there probably on the next stream. Um, or was probably when we'll do it. Um, yeah. But it's definitely, it's definitely has some creepy stuff in it, for sure. <gasps> I got the hiccups all of a sudden. Definitely not from this. Adventure! Yeah! Now, it's a mixture of that and talking a lot. I have to say my favorite dungeon is Grounds. <laughs> Grounds is the best is the best Zelda dungeon. It's like oddly quiet. Hey, come back. I was going to kill you. Come back. I was going to kill you. See, the thing is, I was going to kill you, but if you go away, then I can't kill you. I mean, I wouldn't even kill you if you just... You wouldn't be such a jerk. But he just he just keeps spawning these creepy guys, and I don't like it. So I'm going to kill him. I'm just going to kill him. Here we go. No, no come back! I just want to kill you. Come here. There we go. Got him! He's not dead yet, though. Never mind. We'll get him. No worries. He's, you can spawn as many of these useless puppet things as you want. I'm still going to kill you. I'm still going to kill you. There he is. Ah, oh, get back here. Get back here. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. Die! Those puppets moving without visible strings, visible strings is so creepy. Yeah, there's a handful of things in Twilight Princess that are like legit creepy, uh, especially in the Arbiter's Grounds. The ghosts in the Arbiter's Grounds are very, very creepy. Hee hee hee! Bye! No, come back! I was gonna kill you. All right, if you open the door for me, I'm fine with it. As long as the door is open. Hyrule Holly gifted a sub to Daylight Dev. 26 gifted subs. Thank you so much, Hyrule Holly. Appreciate that. And welcome, Daylight Dev, to the adventure. Howl. Okay, we got a howl. I remember this puzzle. This is about to do a big puzzle where we have to, like, move these statues around. Yeah, giant puzzle time. Here we go. I'm hoping that there's a way that we can reset this once we're done? I mean, rather, excuse me, what, if we get, if I get mixed up in the puzzle, is there a way to restart it? That's what I'm wondering, I can't remember. Because I feel like if I mess it up early, you can just really kind of screw yourself. All right. So I think we have to move ourselves, like we have to jump. 
We are guardians of this land. Guide us to where we once stood. Only then can you enter the true sacred grove. Weird, weird flex, but okay. Okay, all right, so let's see. I think if I jump like that, okay, yeah. They jump on their own there, so. I need them to like match up. So, don't really know for sure. See, like, I can make them... See, I can move like this, and then they can't move. So that helps. Let's go up. Um, Yeah, there's no way to reset. That's what I'm worried about. Timer begins? Oh, no, we're being timed. Um, all right, so... I actually am not really sure. Uh, okay. Alright, I feel like we're kind of close. Ooh, see, they're, 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 uh, maybe I want him to go this, this way. Because if he goes this way, then I can make them both go up. No, I can't do that. Uh, oh, I can make them both go in like this. Ooh, do we have it? Alright, probably not. Yeah, because they go opposite directions. But I could uh if I go up then he's gonna go down um I feel like I'm yeah I feel like we almost have it actually I feel like I kind of just stumbled into this um I mean I've got to do something ah Huh. I'm um, yeah. I feel like we're right there. What am I? What am I? Uh... Hold on. Go back up. If I can't go up here, I'm probably supposed to go down. I guess. If I go down. Um. No. Uh, there's got to be some reason to use this here. And then I can move them like this. Maybe go up again. And then down again. <laughs> Wait. Uh, don't go down. Um, okay. Let's see. Oh, wait. I think I... I think I've got it. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. 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 Probably. Yeah, and then... Then left. There we go, baby. Right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. That didn't take... That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. But do you got it? Do you got it, though? Big brain plays. Dabs in the chat! <laughs> 200 IQ! I told you guys, we're doing an IQ test. I don't even need to. You don't even need to do the IQ test, because obviously, uh, I've already proven I've already proven uh, A plus IQ. That's not how IQ works. It's not rated in A, A to F scale, but mine is mine's so good that they rated on they rated on a completely different scale they rated on the a plus scale yeah oh I, I for some reason i was thinking we had to do something else after this but no we can just go straight up and get the get the master sword Ooh, we're getting the master sword if i, I can select it there we go <laughs> master sword baby i gotta get my own i gotta get my master sword hold on i gotta get my master sword i gotta get my master sword
Well, that was probably <laughs> worthwhile. That was probably worthwhile. You can tell mine's not real, though, because there's tape coming off of it. So, hopefully the, the, the one in the game doesn't have this like, tape messed up. <laughs> yeah, I should, I should have said the dog. Azura, bring me my sword! The sword accepted you as its master. Yeah, well, what can I say? I solved that puzzle in only like 25 minutes. So, obviously I'm the chosen one. Actually, was actually we know how the puzzle was okay. We actually did pretty good on the puzzle. That's... There's definitely, there's definitely been some low lights, but that one was okay. I, I, I'm not going to make fun of myself on that one. That one was not so bad. You made my day when you, okay, you made my dad when you, sh oh, day when you shouted me out. ML Blue. No, no sweat, no sweat. Uh, you, you guys make my day when you come and hang out in the chat. This thing is the embodiment of the evil magic that Zant cast on you. It's definitely different from our tribe's shadow magic. Careful, if you touch it, you'll turn back into a beast. This thing is too dangerous. It's probably for the best if we just leave it here, huh? But on the other hand, if we kept it, you'd be able to transform into a beast anytime you wanted. This is when the game really turns around. I mean, not that it hasn't been good at this point, but oh, she's showing one of her teeth. You know she's serious. She's thinking some, some devious thoughts. Yes, and Sand was kind enough to give this to us. We should be thankful and use it all we can. But yeah, this is when it really gets good because you can teleport anywhere you want. So there's no more like trying to figure out where you're going. You just teleport there. Elise, more thanks for the hundred bits. You are star. Master Sword Bits. Yeah. Uh, everyone, be safe. Don't use knives, but. You can use swords. Swords you can use. I give you permission. <laughs> Even if I am not able to give you permission because you are a kid and I'm not your parent. And Okay, I'm not going to joke about that. Listen to your parents. Hey, but listen, Pingus. Got a little favor to ask. Would you mind? I like how she's like clinging on to me now. I like really after after that like that's this is this it was the beginning of the stream, uh, or rather the beginning of when we were playing when we were, like save or Zelda saves uh, Midna and you take her to Zelda or whatever. That's when Midna starts treating you differently. Would you mind coming with me to find something called the Mirror of Twilight? It's hidden somewhere in Hyrule. She's literally like hanging on our shoulder. Yes, the Mirror of Twilight, our last potential link to Zant. And he's like, yeah. He no longer like creeps out. He's Okay, Midna. Let's do it. Let's go get the thing, the thing of Shadow of Twilight thing you just talked about. That'll be great. I mean, I, 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 I'd much rather be going to get some bugs for that weird, creepy princess girl. But you know what? Since we're pals now, let's just, let's just. Go. Don't warp. Yeah, isn't there something here that we can get? Like, I, I feel like there's a piece of heart here, but I don't remember how to get it. Um, Peeps is my parents. You are a star. The Dannys. Oh wait, welcome to the to the adventure with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much for that. Brand new sub on Twitch Prime. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Speaking of Agatha, I hear bug. <gasps> I didn't mean to pull the sword out. <laughs> I'ma kill it. How do I? I probably maybe use the boomerang. I guess probably. <laughs> Just bug. <laughs> Come here, buggy. Did that not work? Oh no, it did. Okay. You cut a male snail. Snail fans love that golden color. Check out cut bugs in the collection screen. To desert. Also, snail bug is here. Get it now before we come back. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, I don't remember where the piece of heart is, though. Uh, if somebody knows that. Oh, I'm sorry, Mel and Charlie, I missed your 100 bits. Thank you so much. 
Uh, hi, peeps. This is late, but I just want to say I was hospitalized for mental health issues, and your vids and streams really made me feel less alone. Thank you for being open and honest and just being you. Keep up the amazing work. Well, thank you so much, Mel and Charlie. And I'm sorry to hear about that, but I'm, I'm happy to hear that you're apparently doing better. I, I hope I hope, hope I'm not making that up. Uh, and I'm very happy to help in any, any way that I can, Mel and Charlie. Thank you so much. We support you. All right, Cube. See you later, Cube. Hope you had a good shower. Thanks for hanging. Uh, anyone know where the uh, Pizza Heart is? I don't want to like sit around here and look for it forever. I just know there's one here somewhere. There's no uh, heart piece here now. Oh, okay. Never mind. I don't know why I was thinking that there was. We got the snail. You, oh, you got to bomb something, maybe? Um, I mean, I don't... Yeah. There's a... Uh... Keyword being now. Oh, okay. Maybe that, yeah, okay. So maybe, we, yeah, we're supposed to come back later, I guess. Or maybe we can get it later. I think we're good to teleport. I mean, we got the snail. You get the heart piece after the temple of time. Okay. At least I'm not crazy, Cat Millie. Uh, onward to desert. Uh, but first, uh, let's, Head over to, uh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, see, I'm so used to Lake Hylia being on the other side. Uh, let's head to Kakariko Village real quick. This is our old buddies in Kakariko. Thank you, Peeves. Your comment warmed my heart, and your community is so supportive and amazing. Well, it's because the community is so supportive and amazing, I feel comfortable even even suggesting that we are we all support you. Because I, I know we do. I have confidence that, that at least 99% of us do, if not 100%. And if there is the 1% that doesn't, uh, they don't talk very often. Either that or the mods ban them before I can see them. <laughs> Which, whichever. I mean, we don't have, we don't have super strict ban ban rule banning rules here but you know if someone's being obviously just being uh, you know a, a dick for no reason or whatever i think we mostly just kick them <clears throat> kenny's way thanks so much for the hundred bits as soon as i finished talking to whatever her, the heck her name is i thought zora boy had gotten better but he's been really depressed lately he doesn't try to make friends with anyone and every day he just gets up and goes straight to the graveyard it's really weird oh yeah let's go talk to him actually He's over in the graveyard. I think we probably get something for doing it. I forget what. Kenny, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Hey, peeps. No, I'm a bit late, but thanks for talking about anxiety. As someone who struggles with it, in my day-to-day -day life, it's really important for people to know there's other people out there going through similar experiences. Keep doing what you're doing and stay amazing. Thanks so much, Kenny. And thanks, thanks, for, thanks for backing up what I was saying earlier, actually, where I was uh, saying that uh, people seem to uh, message me uh, saying that me talking about that kind of thing helped them a lot. So, thank you so much for uh, for that. It's like a freaking beehive over here. You can't do that. You uh, do it after Arbiter's Grounds. Uh, if you mean talking to this guy, I'm gonna see if I can. I think I can talk to him. I don't know if that's what you're referring to. Let's see if we can help him out here. Oh. Is your name? Is, 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 everyone sees it coming. Uh, is, is your name? Venus. Why, yes. Yes, it is. Nice to meet you. My mother came to, to me in a dream. She showed me her image. She spoke of a youth who would save our domain and steer my fate. One named Pingus. I must thank you for all you've done. If there's anything I can ever do for you, please tell me. Please. Okay, so maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe we can't help him out yet. <laughs> It would, will it help you if I move your father's grave around? Probably not. All right, so yeah, 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 I guess you're right. We can't, we can't, doesn't seem like we can help him yet unless I'm missing something. He gives you the earring after you show him a sketch of, of a reek fish. Hmm. Huh. Desecrate the grave. I think we mostly did already. Or the graveyard, anyway. Anyway, anything we could pull, any gravestone we could mis displace, we we kind of did already. Golden bug. Oh, we already got that one, Cat Millie. Uh, it's the male ant. At least I think. 
Was there a female ant that we missed? I'm pretty sure that... Yeah, no. Go. Okay, hold on. There's one bug we, we actually do need to get the way we've gotten yet. That's here. Uh, I'm going to do that first before I forget. Is it in here? It's in one of these buildings. Yeah, the female ant in town. Yeah, cat. That's what I uh, need to grab. We grabbed it in the original playthrough. What's up, Colin and whatever this girl's name is? I can't remember. Oh, Pingus! I heard from the shaman that Elliot might be able to get her memory back. I don't know why my voice sounds like this now. Yeah, and Zora Boy opened his eyes. It's a very exaggerated voice of the voice I gave Colin earlier. Yeah, and I thought those were both pretty good things, but Ilya and the Zora Boy seem pretty sad still. Oh well. Sounds like a personal problem. Pingus! The Zora child has opened his eyes and is up and about. But all he does is go in the graveyard behind the sanctuary and pray. All day, from morning until night, he prays. Oh, well. I'm not, I mean, hey, he can do his thing. Freaking mailman still here. Uh, the bug might be up there, but can't remember. I think it is in here somewhere. Female ant is in one of these houses on the side. Yeah, yeah. I think it's this one, but it might, might not be. Yeah, I think it's one of the more, like, run-down houses. I don't think it's this house. This house. But let's check and see, just just to double check, what's up this ladder? I can't remember. Ram has to go to bed soon. Read his bit, don't know if you can. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What's up? What's up, Ram? Uh, I did not notice your uh, bits. 100 bits. Thank you for being awesome, peeps. Your stream and vids are always helpful for when I'm going through things. So I want you to know how appreciative I am. Uh, for you and your content. Well, thank you so much, Side I thank you so much. I appreciate that. And if you're about to head to bed, I hope you have a good rest. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these uh, the bug is in a different place. My favorite scene with Colin is every scene he is isn't in. Timmy, <laughs> Colin gets Colin gets hated on all the time. I, I've definitely done a little bit of Colin hate myself, although for me it's mostly a joke. I don't know why. I just like it's just there's something funny about him. Something funny about him to me. Bomb shop, that's not it. Where, Where is the fuck? Oh, it's in here. It's gotta be in here. This is the only other building we can go in. Elise more thanks for the 100 bits. Cheers to the link booty angles when you crawl through the holes. Aw, oh, yeah. If you guys want to see more of that, let me know. I'm happy to oblige. All right, we got an ant. That isn't the only thing I wanted to do here. I wanted to, uh, let's go visit, uh, Mallow. Let's go visit Mallow, see what he's up to. <laughs> Mallow is even funnier. Yeah, yeah, Mallow is definitely funnier, but like not in a way that makes me want to like give him a goofy voice. Well, I mean, I want to make him like have a deep voice. He just seems so serious for some reason. It's like he's got to have some kind of deep voice. What up, Mallow? Hey, Pingus. Buy something. Hawkeye. This. Oh yeah, we can zoom in with the um, like bow and stuff or whatever. Uh. Nah, I'll save it. I'll save it. Uh, I heard there's a lot of price gouging going on in the shops Hyrule Castle town. People are pretty upset out here. I loathe people who take advantage of the poor, unwashed masses. Give give to my Castle Town shop fund so I can finance a shop there. I hate people who take advantage of people. Please give me money. I've heard from reliable sources at the top in Hyrule Castle. Down is gouging prices, crushing folks under the thumb of commerce. Well, fear not, brother. For Malomar has proposed a townspeople relief plan as an answer to the lamentations of the common man. Phase one, repair the broken bridge leading from East Castle Town to the field in order to improve traffic. Phase two, buy that Castle Town shop and sell products to the town at reduced prices. You have heard me right, brother. There is a problem, however. The finances for the execution of this glorious plan are lacking. Please, brother, offer some financial support to aid in the purchase of the Castle Town shop for the benefit of the people. Okay, sure, why not? Hawkeye is super useful for pre-arbiter's grounds. Please buy it. Yeah, you're probably right, actually. Um, well, I'll give everything I can. There you go. All right, all right. <laughs> Adventure. 
Yeah. We'll come back and donate later. <laughs> There's no point right now because we don't have enough money anyways. Oh, Rom! My my bad. My bad. Rom is not Rom. It's not Ram, it's Rom. I usually see it spelled out. So that <laughs> So I, I yeah, my bad. Thanks for th thanks for the clarification. As always, I'm very bad at remembering stuff, but I think I can remember that. Rom. Thanks, Rom. Gonna head to bed, peeps. Nice night to you and your mod slash chat. Thanks for being friends. No problem, Edgy. Thanks for the 20 bits. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you, thank you. All right, so we are going to teleport to... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, I can't do this here anyway. We gotta we gotta go out of sight because they can't handle the true us. They can't handle our true form. Also, I guess we could break this. Uh, What is, what is even back here? Huh, bleh. Uh, I forget. Chickens! How are these chickens- how are these cuckoos alive back here? Where does this go to? Gotta break the box. We need- we need this money to fund Mallow Mart. Uh, just leads to here, I guess. Hmm. Alright, well. for VIP. Oh yeah, I always forget that that's even a thing. I I think I only have one VIP. <laughs> I think I VIP'd uh um uh, I VIP'd Nintendo Capri Sun just randomly to test it out. I was like, who am I going to VIP? I'm going to VIP Tim. So I VIP'd him. He's the only person I ever VIP'd because I forgot to do it after that. But yeah, 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 I'll VIP Rom. I think I said Ram again, my bad. VIP Rom, yeah, I, yeah, I will. I mean, Rom made my theme song. Where are you? Say something in the chat, Rom. I need to VIP the the pe the Peebs theme song composer. I think I need someone to chat before I can do it. I don't think I can do it. Or maybe I can, actually. Uh... Hold on. Here we go. I never actually VIP'd it. It's been, like I said, I only did it. Oh, he's not in here. I don't think I can VIP him if he's not in here or have to, like, go in. Huh. What is VIP? I, it doesn't really mean anything. Uh, Brig. Uh, or B. G soup. Rice. Uh, it doesn't really mean anything or do anything. I think it's just, like, more like a symbolic thing. It like shows a little thing in front of your name. I'll I will definitely do that, but I uh, think I have to like go into my settings or something. So I'll I'll do it later. But I definitely I definitely will VIP Rom. You are strong. All right, so I think I think we need to teleport here, and we're gonna get shot up in a cannon basically to go to the thing. Uh, you should type forwards. Oh yeah, duh, you can do it with like that slash slash VIP. Yes. Does that that work? Oh, that works. Okay, just simple as that. There we go. Our number, our second VIP. Rom. So you got Rom and Tim. That's it. <laughs> no more VIPs. No one else can have VIP. It's just Rom and Tim. Only people with three letter names can be a VIP. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was Ram too all this time. I, 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 I usually when I see the name, I see it written out. So. Or it's just Sciapimp. <laughs> Hello! That's the confusing thing with uh, usernames. Is sometimes it's hard to remember people's actual names because you see their usernames so much. I'm really excited about the latest attraction down here at the lake! Want to hear about it? Sure, why not? This attraction is all about popping balloons! Oh yeah, okay. So, we could do this minigame, but uh, I don't really want to do it right now. I don't think we're going to. We'll do it later, though. Um, uh, we'll do it later. Uh, I want to cannon our way up to uh, to the desert, so we can uh, start getting closer to the uh, best dungeon in the game. Also, I learned something, by the way. Uh, I, it's like someone told me this, I guess. I can't remember even where I learned it, but the other guy, wherever his shop is up there, after you you, you cannon up there, you can turn this the rotating thing over there. The rotating thing, you can, like, turn it off with the boomerang. 
Uh, so basically, you can cheat if you want. What about Jeff? I think Jeff is a mod. I don't know, like, if you should VIP mods. I don't know. Like, you, st I don't know how that stacks up. I don't know. I think being a mod is just a VIP. Basically, just being a VIP anyway. So, fella, I guess you like the ride, huh? Not a bad bit of fantastication. A little dangerous, but sure, it was fun. The height of excitement, the thrill of launching into the heavens, the very peak of flying fantastication. It can be yours, fella. For a limited time only and without waiting in line, it's a partially ten rupees. What do you say, buddy of mine? Uh, I think I want to say this. Uh huh? What? You get a candy? You want me to? Rep oh no, never mind. Uh, sure, give it a shot. I don't think you can't go to Arbiter's Grounds without going. Oh yeah. All right. Well, I'm just gonna pay the ten rupees and then not launch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we gotta go to we gotta go to Thelma's bar first. Can't VIP mods mods have more powers? Yeah, that that makes sense. That's kind of I, I didn't know for sure if that was a thing, but it, it made it makes sense that it is. Some say some say he's still waiting for Pingus to get in that cannon to this day. <laughs> well, we'll be back before too long. Hey, hey Mr. Pingus! Wait! <laughs> I like his, like, underbite. <sighs> Greetings, Mr. Pingus! I've come to deliver a letter! It's a letter from Delma! Yeah, I mean, I was just going to see her, but I guess thanks. <laughs> I guess thanks. Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail! You have to talk to the guy on the tower, not go to the bar. I think we need to go to the bar first, though, because we haven't even met that guy yet. Let's see what letter we have, though. What she say in this letter. Let's see. Pingus, there are some folks I want you to meet. Come to my bar right away. These guys will be powerful allies to you. You heard me. Come by. I'll be waiting at my castle town bar. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. This is uh, this is what we need to do. We gotta go there because we're gonna meet the guy. You're not wrong. We do have to talk to that guy. I think on the tower. Uh, but we do that first by going to the bar. Or rather, we go to the bar first before we do that. Uh, and did I? Yeah, I think okay. I'm recording. Like, I got, I got like worried there for a second. Thought maybe I haven't been recording this whole time, but I'm pretty sure I am. I mean, it's not the end of the world if I forget to record because I can just like, I can make it work. It's just like more definitely more convenient if I have the re record button going. Uh, let's see. All right, this way. You need to talk to everyone at the bar. Yeah, yeah. That sounds that sounds right to me, Cat Millie. Uh, where's our mini map? There we go. I need it just for the sake of the, like, everything being flipped. Well, let's go see, uh, let's go visit, uh, oh, uh, we'll go do it after, after we go to the bar. Well, we gotta get, we gotta give, uh, we gotta give our bug, uh, the, the female ant that we found to, uh, to our good friend, Agatha. We'll do that after we go to the bar, though. Here we are. I love that everyone in Thelma's group has something to do with the remaining dungeons. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Like, it's like a f weird little like, r like, uh, rebel friend group or whatever. I mean, I don't know what they're rebelling against. Not the best word, but oh, if my oh my, if it isn't Pingus. I know where you're all looking right now. I'm not gonna say it. I'm just I know it. You made it. How have you been, honey? Mercy, but did you, but do you have okay? Sorry, I'm a little distracted. It's mercy, but you have good timing. I was just talking about you. Hey, hey, everyone, introduce yourselves. This handsome young man is the infamous Pingus. The Wii version of this was my first Zelda game. That's fun. ML Blue. Oh my! <laughs> you remember what I told you before, honey? These, these are those friends I mentioned, the ones you were trying to help deal with all the troubles in Hyrule. 
Actually, there's one more of us, but there's been a disturbing turn of events in the western desert, so he's going to check it out. He's an older man named Aru. If you happen to meet him, definitely take time to talk with him, okay, honey? Well, you've come all the way here, honey, so why don't you relax a bit? Why don't you be why don't you be sociable and talk to these folks? They're a jolly bunch. Okay. I talk to you first, helmet guy, who looks very similar to that other guy we know. I wonder. It's been a long time. Bingus, yeah. I wonder if it's him. My wife, Uli, sent uh, sent word to me. I've seen the children in Kakariko Village. And of course, I've also heard of your adventures. I must thank you for, for your help with Colin, Pingus. I barely recognized him. In any case, I am troubled in my own inaction. I want to help the cause. These friends here, I've had a connection with them for a long while. Like the others, I'm gathering information now. I will let you know if I hear anything. You could probably see better without that helmet on, to be honest. Oh, hello there. You must be Pingus, correct? I'm Shad. Wonderful to meet you. Telma told me all you... you all <laughs> Telma told me that to learn how to speak properly. Uh, I didn't really I didn't really heed those words, though. Tell me told... Telma told me all you've been up to. You're rather formidable. I'm rather not, I'm afraid. Well, I'm formidable at book reading, but I lack, shall we say, physical skills. That said, if the history and legends of Hyrule are your cup of tea, I'm your fellow. If you're curious, just ask away. And, what? Well, I forget her name. It's Ashy. I grew up in the mountains with my father, who, has a, who was a knight in his own right. He taught me the arts of war, as I thought, as though I was his son. Of course, lessons in common courtesy were not part of the regiment, so forgive me if I come off as rude, yeah. I haven't got her voice right. Listen, before I blab both of your ears off, I want to tell you something. Snow Peak, the mountain north to the north of Hyrule. It's unlike any mountain I've ever known. I don't know much yet, but things happen there that happen on no other mountain I know of. Evil controls it. As soon as I know something more, I'll tell you. Until then, you should stay away, yeah? I think we might be going there at some point, you know? I think I just think we might be... Here's one of those things of meat that I was talking about. It looks really gross in the HD version for some reason. We almost got a nice close-up of it, but instead we got a nice close-up of this bottle. I really should be a voice actor. Well, thank you, Silver Wing Dragon. I've done a couple professional voice over gigs, but they were very, very low level and weren't like anything serious. In fact, one of them never even came to anything and came to fruition. I'm sure that Shaman will find a way to get her memory back. That Renato is a talented man for sure. Anyway, honey, you've got your own things to worry about, so you just make sure you do what needs doing right now, okay? What is the screen capture program you're using? I'm. Still working on that comic. Uh, El Gato Game Capture HD. Uh, it's alright. I mean, it's the best I've ever used, but there's these these programs are always finicky in their own way. Uh, it's not... It's, I don't nearly unrecommend it as much as I unrecommend XSplit. <laughs> but it definitely has its problems. But it's, 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 it's pretty good. Right now, he's off investigating Hyrule's Western Desert. If you need detailed directions, just take a peek at that map on the table. Now, nah, we good. We good. There's the ma there's the freaking uh, mailman guy over there. Sun drunk, thanks for the hundred bits. Be afraid, germs. It's Listerine antiseptic mouthwash. The original formula has been striking fear into germs for the over one hundred years. Wait, hold on. Let me reorient myself. Where am I walking to? <laughs> this way. <laughs> for over is it over a hundred years? Dang, I'm a, I'm actually a big. I'm a big Listerine fan, actually. And helping prevent to prevent gingivitis. Cool Mint is not only germ a germ killer, but also a people pleaser. Its bold tingle has been America's favorite for years. Just 30 seconds of rinsing twice a day. That's all it takes when you use Cool Mint Listerine antiseptic mouthwash. I didn't mean to go into here. I was too busy reading, reading about Listerine antiseptic mouthwash. Thank you, Sun Drunk, for the hundred bits. <laughs> Appreciate you. Let's go visit our good buddy, everyone's best friend, Agatha. Uh, also, thank you, thank you, Shut Up, for the two hundred bits. I I got the one of them. I missed the other one though. Uh, all right, we got you something. Have you brought a bug for Princess Agatha's ball? Sure, why not? I guess I got two of them. He goes this one. Yeah, this one. Thank you. Thank you. We're about to get real happy, everybody. 
Oh boy, oh boy, who's your friend? You're a little male, or female ant, aren't you? You little cutie. Little ant, little ant. I might mistake you for a grain and put you in my cereal. Oh boy, thank you so much. I'm so happy. Oh yes, we have a pair. Don't these those little bugs look so happy? Allow me to share this happiness with you. I'm so happy! Speaking of sharing happiness with me, Retromation shared 500 happinesses with me. Thank you, your just chatting section today hit incredibly close to home for me. I just want you to know I'm very grateful. Thank you for being so open. No problem. Thanks so much, Retro Retromation, for sharing your happiness and your message. <laughs> means a lot. It definitely means a lot that people uh, appreciate it because it was a little, little nerve-wracking. I was definitely like having to work myself up to doing it. Uh, yeah, I got something else for you, Agatha. Here we go. Uh, a male snail. I don't know if she breeds them, Toon, uh, but she definitely wants them. Oh boy, oh boy, who's your friend? You're a little male snail, aren't you? You're you little cutie. Little snail, little snail. Just once I'd like to take a bath in that slime. <laughs> I forgot about that one. Alright. Alright. Uh... See you guys now on the next stream. Uh, <laughs> Allow me to share this happiness with you. That's not even the grossest one. That's not even the we yeah, have seriously to Zarky if there's ever been an appropriate time for that Arthur emote. <laughs> this is it. Cool story, Agatha. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll see you later, Agatha. Uh, I definitely hear the bugs. Where are they? One here somewhere. Hear it. I think it's just the male ant. Well, well, once we start, once we start doing anymore, I'm pretty, I do, I'm pretty sure that they just start hanging out the room. Hot. At least one. At least Tobo liked it. At least Tobo liked it. <laughs> uh, let's head outside so we can teleport. We support you fully, and your speaking out was very helpful. Thank you, Mel and Charlie. Appreciate that. Also, Lil's yikes. Thanks for the two month resub. It me, what up, Lil's Yikes? Appreciate that. All right, let's go to the lake to chat it up with our guy over there. Warp to Zora Hall real quick once you're done here. Uh, sure, I'll do it right now. Or actually, I might save that. I might save that for the next stream. Actually, I might save that for the next stream. Um, have I done this? I don't think I have. Let's, let's, uh, let's, uh, head up here. Head up here. You hear the bugs mating? Is that, is that what that sound is, Toon? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Because we can never teleport, we can never change into a wolf here until now. So I'm pretty sure we haven't done this one. Yeah, here we go. Well, this one's easy. Oh, oh, a little, a little harder. Okay, sheesh. You got to do that to me. Down. All right. Down. Off beat there. All right. Okay, I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. All right, well, that wasn't it. Uh, <laughs> I'm literally just going to... Oh, wait, it, it goes away? No, 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 no. I didn't know that. Got it. Got it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Took a second. Will you check out the fishing house? Look at everything in there, and she'll comment. Oh, we're definitely gonna tune tune you jump in. We're definitely gonna go to the fishing place uh, at some point. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll make a thing out of it. We'll we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll make a date out of it. How about that? Perfect. This is a yeah. This is a beautiful song, Supernova. Wow, Pingus. What a beautiful voice you have. Thank you, Manic. First try, yeah. First try, boys. 
10 out of 10 date idea. Yeah, we'll, we'll, have, a, we'll have a date with chat. We'll go fishing. Let the teaching of old pass to you. Take sword in hand and find me. Okay. Okay. Love a requiem requ of the spirit? Definitely. Definitely. All the way over there. Well, well, fooey. Well, fooey. I think that's on the Mount uh, Snow Peak. I think that's where Snow Peak is. I'm not positive. Right, so let's go talk to this guy. Is the warp song for the Spirit Temple in Ocarina of Time? I can't remember what how how that goes. Someone else can probably answer that though. I bet. Yo, dude. I thought it was about time for you to arrive. Master Pingus, is it? Yeah, Master Pingus, everybody, by the way, in the chat. Uh, Master Pingus is my name. Please refer to me as my real name from here on out. <laughs> <laughs> you know Telma, don't you? I'm Aru. I'm part of the group that Telma kindly allows to meet at her bar. Yeah, De Demi, I always appreciate the Driftwood reference. I've heard all about your deeds from her. Now, you being courageous, a courageous youth, you likely have heard of the strange events in the desert and come to investigate, no? Yeah, yeah, that's what I did. Or am I mistaken? You do know, don't you, Master Pingus? <laughs> the Garuda Desert once held a prison, built to hold the worst criminals this land has ever known. The criminals who were sentenced to death were sent directly to the underworld by a cursed mirror that was kept in the prison. Now that prison is condemned. And even the road leading to the desert is impassable. I forgot about all this creepy backstory. I forgot about the creepy backstory to this. I forgot about the creepy backstory to the last dungeon. With that, with the little Zora kid's mom being executed. I forgot there's a lot of really creepy things in this game. This desert at world in, world's end still holds the cursed mirror and that malice. And the malice of the doomed inmates. So those ghosts are prisoners that kill people? I'm too scared to play this anymore, guys. I'm too scared. These old bones know that the evil currently plaguing Hyrule is related to this wicked place, so I've come to learn the truth. Master Pingus, I must ask, what will you do now? Don't tell me you plan to enter the desert and confirm my suspicions with your own eyes. Should I say no? No. I see. Well, not to pry, but if you were going to the desert, then I could have told you how to get there. <gasps> Shut up, Sprinkles! Thanks for the hundred bits! Hold on, let me let me finish this guy real quick. Young Master Pingus, what is this trouble? Or what is the trouble? Yes, I do. Okay, let's finish this. Ah, is that so? Then let good old Aru help you out. You see Lake Hylia blow us? A man named Fryer runs an amusement ride of sorts there. Give him this. Okay. You got Aru's memo! Aru wrote this to Fryer of Lake Hylia. Said it to whatever to show it to him. Okay. See, long ago I saved this man Fryer's life, and now he cannot refuse me if I ask a favor. If you have to leave the rest, if you leave the rest up to Friar, I should go well. All right, sounds good. Shut up, Sprinkles. Thanks for the hundred bits. I like how both you and Jeff were sent that God of Driftwood video on your streams, and then you said the line in Animal Crossing LP. <laughs> Beautiful. Also appreciated your talk about celebrity crushes and that very excellent. Even though you probably don't. no, I remember talking about it. I remember things that we talk about. Actually, believe it or not, I only sometimes forget things. Yeah, my Emma Watson, I, I, what I can't remember is if my Emma Watson story got cut off. The thing of how I got assigned, my friend who also had a crush, who was also named, was named Austin, who had a crush on uh, Emma Watson also, got got uh, me a, a signed Emma Watson picture. <laughs> Where'd this come from? If you're talking about the celebrity crush thing, it was from an animal. It was from our Animal Crossing Let's Play on, on Phoebe and Jeff. Uh, I had a crush on Emma Watson when I was a kid. We're about the same age, too. So it was basically destined to happen, but yet somehow it didn't. <clears throat> All right, I uh, we I didn't get quite as far as I wanted, but it's it's late. I haven't had any dinner. I'm really hungry. I gotta eat something. I think on the next stream we should be able to uh, get through the desert thing and get through the best dungeon in the game. So I think I'm gonna save that uh, for the next stream. So thanks everyone on YouTube. I'm going to end off the recording here. Thanks if you're watching on YouTube. 
Uh, we're going to continue for at least a few more s seconds. I don't know how long, uh, but it, we'll hang out for a bit after the stream. But if you're watching on YouTube, I do appreciate it. Sorry about the short uh, thing today. We had a we had a little anxiety. We had a chat about uh, anxiety and stuff before this. So that ran a little long. So I'll see you guys on the next episode or VOD on the Archive channel. Thanks for watching on YouTube. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Mommy, I mean, mama. I got to say that.